Okay, so I am welcome back. So continuing with um, logical operators, sometimes it's necessary to combine logical operators with uh, um, with else if statements. So you can see that, for example, in this program, I have a, some essentially some else if statements. So I have I, I have an if else if and then possibly some else statement and uh, and then basically again basically in the else if statements i have the the logical state the, the logical operators and or and so on and so forth now it's uh, in order to understand basically in what in what type of situation you can you can actually do, do this type of thing or in what type of situation it's actually better to do this type of thing you can take a look at this table over here so you have basically for example you have the you have the gender of some applicant for example you have the years of service you have the qualification you have an, and you have the salary right and the program what it needs to do is that it needs to report the salary meaning that for example depending on these these different uh, basically depending on these different situation these different qual um, conditions over here the the program is supposed to to tell you that the salary is this much or that much and so on and so forth right which means that for example to to make it concrete if the the applicant is male and the years of service is greater than or equal to 10 years and if the qualification is for example postgraduate then the salary becomes 15,000 otherwise if the, the if the applicant is a male greater than or equal to 10 graduate postgraduate graduate less than 10 less than 10 it becomes 10,000 10,000 7,000 if the applicant is a female and the years of service are greater than or equal to 10 greater than or equal to 10 less than 10 and postgraduate and 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 graduate then the salary becomes 12,000 9,000 10,000 and 6,000 so each of these are each of these salaries are different except for these two which is 10,000 and 10,000 right so now let's see how we can we can write this program to write this program what I have done is that um, is that I have cal I have included well of course stdr.h for the standard input output and then and then the main function and then I have I have basically defined a couple of variables the variable the variables that I have um, defined are basically the for the gender I have defined a character variable which is a char variable and for the years of service for qualification and salary I have um, um, defined three integer variables years of service qualification and salary right and since the program would get into trouble I have to say that I have to assign value zero for example to salary otherwise the variable salary would contain some garbage value and that garbage value would would not allow the program to, the program to execute properly now what I have done again is that we will consider two cases for the qualification that is essentially if the if the the applicant is is a graduate you will assign a zero to to the to the to the applicant which is an integer right because the qualification itself is an integer variable and if the applicant is a is a postgraduate you will assign a one to the to the applicant so you need to be careful about essentially this con this this convention that we have set over here and the gender um, basically um, is a character variable 
we will consider two different cases for the gender mean male and female male will, will be represented with a lowercase m and female will be, will be represented with a lowercase f um, and of course you know that basically a lowercase m and an uppercase m would be different a lowercase f and an uppercase f would be different because their ascii code is different so you have to if if you set basically m lowercase m here then wh whatever you input into the program has to be lowercase m if you set essentially an uppercase m or f you have to enter the same into the program otherwise the the program will not understand your input right now First, you need to ask the user to enter basically the gender, the years of service, and the qualification of the candidate, which I have done essentially over here using this printf statement, which is uh, basically enter gender, years of service, and qualification through the keyboard. And uh, using an scanf function, I have taken the same in, meaning that uh, the gender is a character variable percentage c these two are integer variables percentage d and percentage d and so you have gender and years of service and qualification right and then you need to and then this this part over here this part over here is related to the conditions that we have set in the table so for example in the table we have said that if the gender is male and if the years of service is greater than or equal to 10 and if the qualification is a postgraduate then the salary is supposed to be 15,000 rupees for example so um, or whatever the, the unit the, the currency unit might be just you can think of that as 15,000 for example so you can male and greater than or equal to 10 and postgraduate would be for example if the gender is male and this is a logical and years of service is greater than or equal to 10 and the qualification is equal to 1 meaning 1 means um, postgraduate as we discussed here then the salary is supposed to be equal to 15,000 right Now over here in these two lines, you can see that the salary in both cases is equal to 10,000, which means that all of these, these two conditions, you can, you can combine them using an OR logical statement. So that is male greater than or equal to zero graduate. So this is male uh, greater than or equal to zero and graduate, and also male less than zero postgraduate which is male less than less than 10 and postgraduate and then i have put together these two conditions using an or logical operator and then the salary is equal to 10000 for any of these two conditions right and otherwise if the if essentially if the if the if the gender is equal to is, is male and less than 10 and graduate 7000 for example so um, gender is equal to male years of service less than 10 qualification zero meaning graduate 7000 and we have done we have done essentially the exact same thing all the way up to the end of the table which comes all the way up to here where the gender is female years of service is less than 10 and qualification is equal to zero female less than 10 zero and six thousand which is six thousand over here right and you can see that basically the there is if over here there is else if over here there is else if else if else if and so on and so forth but there is no else because the else we do not need it in this program right and then at the end we have uh, reported that the salary is percentage d rupees um, in sa and, and the variable of course here the percentage d refers to salary so salary is equal to so many rupees and zero right now you writing this these programs 
you can make a whole lot of mistakes meaning that for example you could write things wrong you could you could basically forget an equal sign over here an equal sign over there and so on and so forth you need to write the program down in your editor and uh, and then basically the 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 compiler is going to 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 essentially refer to your mistakes and then you have to somehow basically get rid of those mistakes and then rebuild the program over and over again until you have no warnings and no errors and then once you and then if you build the program and it's it tells you that basically that the target is up to date nothing to be done all items are up to date meaning that your program is good to go you can basically run your program right now once you run your program you need to uh, basically check each and every one of these conditions essentially in the table for example for example if the if the gender is male which is supposed to be so this is gender years of service and qualification in the exact same order that we have them over here and if the gender is male i need to enter the gender in lowercase m and greater than or equal to 10 for example i enter an 11 here for the years of service and the, for the postgraduate we said that if it's a graduate it's zero for postgraduate is equal to one so i enter a one over here and it tells me that the salary is fifteen thousand rupees so the same fifteen thousand that we have here the program is reporting the same thing okay so now if for example suppose that for example that my input is uh, suppose that my input is um, um, basically um, now the problem with this with this program of course this is not much of a problem this is of course one of the the, the, the properties of this program that if I make it either male or female then I have to choose a salary uh, years of service which is either greater than 10 or equal to 10 or less than 10 and then I have to I have to choose between postgraduate and an undergraduate or, or and graduate and then some salary will be shown to me meaning that all cases have been have been have been essentially taken care of but suppose that for example I say that the that the, that the gender is male for example and the years of service is 20 meaning greater than 10 meaning the any of these two cases and then the qualification if i say that the qualification is equal to one i'm going to get the 15,000. otherwise if i say that otherwise if i say that 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 for example that 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 the gender is male and that may, the years of service is for example 20 greater than 10 and for example that the that the qualification is graduate which is equal to zero then the salary is equal to 10,000 which is this one over here and in the exact same way basically all the other cases are taken care of meaning that for example if i say that if i say that for example that the um that the, that, the, that, the, that the gender is female for example and the years of service is less than 10 for example 9 and uh, it's a uh, it's a it's a graduate which is zero for example then the salary becomes 6000 over here now if you enter any of these any of these wrong meaning that for example suppose that for example you say that you say that for example that the sex is male or the gender is male and the years of service is 20 which is greater than 10 and then the, for the qualification i'm going to say that for example it's a two which doesn't exist in the program then the salary is zero rupees and this zero rupees comes from basically uh this zero over here which means that which means that essentially none of these cases has been uh, taken care of now which means uh, now what i can do is that i can use uh, a um, 
an else, if else statement and say that for example that if the salary is zero rupees then that means that basically that none of the conditions has been essentially none of the basically that something has gone wrong with your input essentially so i'm going to say that um, instead of this printf statement i'm going to say that basically if basically salary is equal to for example zero then printf then printf basically your input is not right and I'm, I'm saying that your your input is not right because essentially all the possible cases have been thought out in the program else else basically we can we can say that 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 basically that printf that that the salary is equal to is equal to for example percentage d rupees and then over here i can write salary right and that will take care of the mistakes that 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 things that essentially that could go wrong essentially in when you enter things into the program which means that if i build this program now i have no problems and then if i run the program I have, for example, suppose that I enter, um, for example, one of these conditions over here, for example, a mail, and um, the years of service make it 20, for example, and the qualification make it zero, the salary is 10,000 rupees, right? Now, if I say that, for example, if I say that, for example, that the that the gender is uh, male, for example, and the years of service is 20 and the qualification is two, which doesn't exist in the program, that program tells me that your input is not right. And so I know that basically there is something wrong. I have to change my inputs, right? That's a simple way to take care of that, that, that sort of problem. And you can do this only if you're, if you're sure that basically that all the possible cases have been taken care of in the, in the program okay okay so this was another example where you can see that you can basically put together if else if and uh, uh, else statements together using logical operators and then using these logical operators you can essentially combining the two you can you can essentially write this type of take care of essentially this type of situation so you need to learn this situation and remember it and then once you come across essentially a similar type of situation you can use the same type of solution so i'll see you in the next uh, video with the um, with the um with the but essentially the next concepts in the in the course i'll see you in the next video thank you